Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing another top five video for The Walking Dead. After now, of course, 2020, we've had pretty much, uh, well, you know, we, we've had a good amount of episodes of The Walking Dead this year, maybe not as many as usual, but uh, we did this last year and we're going to do this again this year. What are the top five best episodes The Walking Dead has done in 2020? Okay guys, so this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video leading up to The Walking Dead Season 10. See, of course, this one is also going to be now that we are entering the end of 2020. We are going to do our annual video talking about in this one, what are the top five best episodes of The Walking Dead Season 10, uh, or really the episodes that we got of The Walking Dead this year. So uh, total in 2020, we got eight episodes of The Walking Dead, which it's like, when you look at that, it's like, wow, The Walking Dead only had eight episodes this year. That's, that's just... That is insane. That is absolutely insane to see. And unfortunately, um, doing a top five video like this, I was just like, man, like really, it's like almost all the episodes are going to be kind of listed here. So, uh, but what are mainly the five episodes I enjoyed the most of The Walking Dead this year? Um, definitely, I think for this year, I think Fear the Walking Dead also had some episodes this year that uh, I could go back and say like, that was a really great episode or that was a really great episode. So, um, Absolutely, Fear of the Walking Dead definitely uh, definitely made a huge impact this year and uh, definitely very, very awesome as well, too. So, uh, and crazy to think, too, that Fear of the Walking Dead actually pretty much had around the same amount of episodes this year as well, too. Um, and, uh, you know, because The Walking Dead only had eight episodes, but, I mean, Fear only had seven as well, too. So, it's just crazy how many episodes we really, we really were missing this year from both uh, Fear and The Walking Dead. So, uh, number five is going to be uh, Season 10, Episode 14, Look at the Flowers. So this is the episode, of course, where we get to see Negan and Daryl, of course, uh, kill those, you know, whispers. Um, we also do have the uh, the crew that goes to uh, meet Stephanie. Uh, we have uh, Eugene, uh, Yumiko, uh, Ezekiel, and then, of course, they run into Princess in this episode uh, at the very end of this episode. And we also have Beta, who also is kind of trying to figure out what he's going to do after the death of Alpha. And, of course, that's when he puts the uh, face uh, on uh, the uh, the missing part of his mask. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness, man. So, um, but definitely a very interesting episode a very exciting episode i thought there were some good moments in it and i think it definitely is worthy to put uh, on the list uh, for sure i think it was a good episode with a lot of kind of uh, good moments so uh number four is going to be uh season 10 episode 10 stalker uh this episode is very very cool i really like the whole kind of uh um you know a michael myers type of feel to it with beta kind of going into uh you know alexandria and stuff like that uh, i think the way they did it of course with uh, him going in the houses killing everybody and then also uh in the meantime we also have daryl versus alpha so i mean this episode was packed uh, we had uh, some really exciting stuff at Alexandria kind of at night. Uh, Rosita, Gabriel, and the others are kind of trying to keep the place safe. Uh, but then you got Beta that sneaks in to try to get Gamma back. And uh, that is another kind of development we did see in this episode as well, too, is Gamma kind of tried to, uh, you know, kind of join our characters. So I thought it was a, it made for a very, very awesome episode. Uh, number three is going to be the episode to follow, Season 10, Episode 11, Morningstar. Um, this episode is the battle at Hilltop. Uh, of course, this episode is kind of the beginning of it and then it spills over into episode 12 which uh you guys know i wasn't always the biggest fan of how they did how it kind of you know it spills over but i did like this episode regardless and kind of how they did it um I thought it turned out pretty good, and I think they actually did a really good job with this episode of kind of making it uh, feel like 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 a war episode because you got all this build up throughout the episode, you got a lot of great character moments, and then you know you finally get to the battle, and it's like oh man, just I don't know. I thought they did it very very well, uh, even though I'm disappointed on how the battle turned out in the end, uh, having a, a little less time when it comes to the actual battle than I thought, uh, and specifically because they do end this episode on a cliffhanger. Uh, I still thought this episode was super exciting, and I think it's a it's a really uh, interesting take on the Whisper War from the comics. Uh, episode uh, 11 is an episode that I think a lot of people uh, really enjoyed because it's an episode where you can kind of focus on some of your characters and where they're at, and then once you get a feel of where everybody's at emotionally, mentally, stuff like that, then you get into the battle. So I think it's really cool and it's almost, uh, it's almost better than a lot of what they did in Game of Thrones, honestly. So uh, maybe not in terms of visually how the battle looked, 
But in terms of making you care for the characters before they go into war, I think Walking Dead does it way better than Game of Thrones. Uh, and I know, I'm, I'm, I, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, I think Walking Dead uh, has better characters than Game of Thrones. That's just my personal opinion. So, um... Yeah, number two is going to be season 10, episode 12, Walk With Us. Um, now, this episode is the episode with uh, Alpha. So this is the one, of course, uh, where we get to see Negan kill Alpha for Carol. Um, and we kind of get the reveal of kind of like, well, that's why Negan was there in the first place. She sent him to do this job. Uh, and uh, man, I mean, what a, what a reveal. Um, I love that. That is one of my favorite scenes from season 10 is when the, the head rolls to Carol and she's like, took you long enough. And you just got that, that stare off between the two. Oh man, so good. Um, that is gold. Honestly, I love that scene so much. And honestly, I think the way they did Alpha's death, uh, I thought it was very interesting how they have when Negan slits her throat and she goes down, you've got this like whisper music that they use, but it's like sad whisper music. It's like this light, like whisper music. Like I just, oh man, uh, they did it well. They really did. And then also, uh, to add on to that in terms of death as well too, we also had Earl and we also had Gamma that got killed by Beta. So we had, we had a really good episode, uh, and also the return of uh, Magna, which also was uh, another addition as well too. So I thought this episode was really, really exciting in a lot of parts, and they, they had a lot in it that was very, very cool to see. Um, and then number one, my all-time favorite episode that The Walking Dead did, uh, did this year, the, uh, the best work The Walking Dead has done this year would be The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 16, A Certain Doom. I mean, this episode, it was cooked up for a long time. I mean, my goodness, but... Um, I think that when we actually saw the episode, and there's there's some kind of back and forth online about this one, but in terms of where I stand, in terms of my personal opinion, this episode knocked it out of the park. It had some flaws, as The Walking Dead always has, you know, some flaws here and there, but um, it was a very exciting episode. They did it well. Uh, could there have been maybe an extra death or two at least? Absolutely. Uh, could the beta fight with Negan gone better? Absolutely. But I think if you kind of take those two things out, um, which are still big enough flaws, but but definitely, you know, if you kind of look past those two things, this episode is absolutely amazing. This episode is a masterpiece of a finale. Um, and the way they end the Whisper arc with the mask going down the cliff, I mean, what an amazing, amazing shot. And what an amazing scene with her, uh, with Carol and Lydia, and then also uh, the introduction to the Commonwealth. And I think the, the suits looked absolutely fantastic so far. Um, and I just, I thought it was great. I thought it was a great episode as well as the return of Maggie, which was another huge highlight. Um, and also, uh, you know, having a lot of great scenes with the characters. I thought it worked out really good. Uh, we did have Scott as well too. We had Scott saying, come on Judah. So, so that was definitely the biggest highlight of this episode. So, um, basically that is all we have for the, you know, this year for the walking dead. Um, I thought these episodes still, if you look back in these episodes, look at the flowers, uh, Stalker, Morningstar, Walk With Us, and uh, A Certain Doom. Uh, I think these episodes are still very, very good. I think these episodes in particular are the ones I enjoyed the most this year for The Walking Dead. Uh, I know some people are probably going to ask me, Dan, where is the Michonne last episode? Isn't Michonne's last episode important to you? Why wouldn't that be on your list? It's not. It's not even one of my favorite episodes. I, I do miss Michonne a lot, and Michonne is my favorite female in The Walking Dead uh, main show. But I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think that episode deserves a spot on the list. I just do not like how they did that episode because uh, Virgil and just all the stuff they did there. But uh, it's it's definitely a good episode. It's just, it's not it's not an episode I think was an episode that I can go back and say, that is an episode I could rewatch over and over and over again. Uh, but these five episodes on the list, I could definitely rewatch these again. Uh, at least a lot of these ones. I mean, man, these are really good episodes. Um, and I think they did a really great job with pretty much every single one of these on the list. So anyway, guys, that's my opinion. That's the best. Uh, the you know the, the best The Walking Dead did this year. Um, out of the eight episodes, these five, I think, are the ones that really stand out uh, and I think were uh, very, very good. And definitely, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, click the subscribe button for my Walking Dead videos. Follow Dance Walking Dead videos on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Everybody out there.